Luke Dillon, it's great to be here at your family home in the hills of Adelaide. It's an amazing view and it's so peaceful and quiet. It's a long way from a speedway track. Yeah, that's right. It's really <laughs> relaxing up here. It's, uh, you know, it's a good spot to be. Um, every time my dad thinks of selling it, we'd sort of <laughs> say you're mad. So. <laughs> okay, I have to start by asking, how did you get involved in, in sprint car racing? Uh, well, my dad used to race speed cars or midgets mm -hmm. back when I was younger. And then, um, you know, we used to go to the Speedway and watch him all the time and, you know, I always liked the sprint cars. Uh, I used to race Formula 500s and a few lead-up stuff, but you're not really happy if you're racing Speedway and not racing sprint cars, so yeah. it was always a goal of mine. Do you remember the feeling that first time that you jumped in a sprint car? Yeah, it, it wasn't unexpected. Like, I'd watched them so much and so intensely when, before I raced them. I knew what it was going to be like, but it's powerful. So yeah. that, that was the first thing I felt and it never really goes away. Do you ever scare yourself? The anticipation of crashing, like when you go in too high up against the wall and you breathe in a bit, I suppose that's the scariest moment. But the actual crashing, it's not that scary. You've raced so much around South Australia and you've achieved so much. What's one of the, the highlights from your career so far? Lately, one of the, uh, the biggest career highlights was the George Tattnall Cup in Adelaide. You know, Brooke was racing and in the cricket car and we, uh, I won that one and Brooke comes second, Dave Mercott run third. So, you know, that was real big race for me. I beat some pretty serious competition. World Series, it's such a tough gig, especially Speed Week, five nights of racing in seven. How do you as a, a smaller family operation prepare for that? Uh, there's a lot of planning involved. Uh, we don't have any professional crew or anything on our, our team. So, you know, we got a few different crew people each night. Like my friend Todd's going to crew for me, but last night he was racing in a wingless car. And, you know, uh, my other crewman, Ross, had to go to work today. And it, the, there's a lot of planning and it, it's not perfect, but it's, uh, it's how our team is. So, you know, we just plan and do it. You recently became a father, gorgeous Taylor. Has fatherhood changed your approach to racing at all? It hasn't really affected it. You know, it's affected other parts of our life. You know, like we stay home instead of going out and <laughs> you know, got other things to talk about and different, uh, different things we enjoy doing. Your wife Candice has, uh, I think, brought Taylor to the track already for a few times, so uh, she's going to be a, a Speedway fan, no doubt. Um, but your family in general, such a big support to you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, it's always been a family family sport. It keeps our family together. You know, my younger brother Lee's on my, my pit crew, and I think he does a better job than most of the paid crewmen. So that's that's a big asset to us. And uh, you know, Lee's girlfriend Jody's there, and you know, it's a very good, healthy family thing you know, keeps your family together. And a lot of other teams do that as well. Like, you know, like you see the Reedy family there and a few others. Yeah. So. Well, Luke, I've brought you a lovely bottle of Amadio Cab Sav. Yeah. Um, before we open this though, I have to ask, who would you most like to share a glass of wine with? Uh, probably just my wife, Candice. You know, Luke, she don't get to drink wine much anymore, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> she'd probably enjoy it. Well, I noticed some uh, preparation going on out the back. Before we leave, do you mind if we have a look at the workshop? Uh, no problems, let's do it. Great. So, look, this is what your mum refers to as the toy box. I can see why. Yeah, there's lots of toys here, obviously. We've got a toy car and some toy go-karts and a bunch of other stuff to assist with toys. Fantastic workshop built specially for the racing. Well, it's more intended for the truck business, but yeah. the trucks aren't really allowed in here, so <laughs> it's become a race shop. Well, it looks like the crew are busy getting ready for the hometown race tonight. Speedway City. We wish you all the best and thanks for having a chat. Thanks very much.